Hey everybody, I am coming making this video message and I want to let you know that no matter what you go through in life, you will still have to answer to God and you will still have to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. This video message may be kind of difficult for a lot of people because you all already know that a lot of people, they don't believe in God. They don't believe in God and they really believe that life is is about them and they control their own destinies i am here to tell you all and this is not just my opinion uh this is me being a living witness i want to let you all know that if you deem yourself a very intelligent or a very strong person even with that you still are going to have to call on the Lord at some point in your life. And especially with the times that we are progressively moving into, you will have to lock in with God if you are not locked in with him right now. You have to really understand and respect the fact that God created everybody and everything. God created everything in heaven. God created everything on the earth. God created everything under the earth. And I'm going to prove it to you with the scripture. I recommend the King James Version, but in Philippians chapter 2, it is talking about, I'm just paraphrasing, it is talking about how every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Go read that when you have the availability for yourself. And I don't want you to just read it. I want you to read it several times and I want you to really meditate on that scripture and I want you to really think about that because that is uh, that has always been a very powerful scripture to me but it's so real. It's so true. There is going to come a time in your life in every single last one of you all's lives if it have not already happened where you are not going to have the answers you are literally not going to have the answers to a dilemma or a problem or a tragedy that comes into your life your mother is not going to be able to help you your father is not going to be able to help you your friends are not going to be able to help you even the man of god that you know it can be your pastor it can be a mighty woman of god that you know but there are things that uh, will come upon you in life and you will not have anybody anybody that you can lean on anybody that you can text anybody that you can call anybody that you can pay money to help you in that tragedy that situation those circumstances or the dilemma that you're in the only thing that will be able to help you is when you call upon the name of jesus on today if there is any one of you you have not taken full advantage of the name of Jesus Christ and even getting to know him I dare you I urge you along with daring you to try Jesus I urge you to do this because a lot of people they are confused as to why they are constantly and repeatedly going through cycles and different things in their lives they don't understand why when they go forward they keep getting pushed back they don't understand why when things look good upon the horizon for them it gets snatched away and sometimes when we go through these things we'll feel like well you know I have some friends that are my support system I have some family members that I can call on and they will be able to help me I can go to them and they will have the answer they will have the solution to the problem that I have I'm here to tell you all you will need you will need some of you right now you are in a situation and you don't have the answers you shared your tragedy your story your situation with a bunch of people and they have told you I'm praying for you they have prayed for you they have told you very uplifting and encouraging words people have hugged you people may have gave you what I like to say is a band-aid to your problem 
Let's say you were hungry. They may have given you food. You're grateful and you're thankful, but it was a band-aid to a bigger problem. Someone may have put a good word in for you to get a job, but it was a band-aid to the bigger solution. Because although you can get up and go to work, you still have a lot of other bills uh, that you need to pay. And the money that you make at your job, it will not cover an inkling of the other bills that you have. And you may have the good job, you may have the money, but you are sick in your body. You're sick. The doctors have given you a very short amount of time to live. I'm telling you all right now, under the sound of my voice, call on the name of Jesus if you have never, ever called on his name. Because what you all have to understand is that when things are coming our way, when we don't have answers, when we are crying about the same thing that keeps repeatedly happening to us over and over and over and over again, or certain things have gone on in our lives and we have no answer for it, it is simply because you are not locked in and tapped in to Jesus Christ. Sometimes you will need a divine help. You will need a divine revelation. You will need divine assistance. And that will only come when you call on the name of Jesus. Arrogant people, prideful people, people who are lofty, they are the ones that feel like God cannot help them. A lot of people, they walk around and they really feel like, well, I have what I have because I worked hard for it. I get up every morning and I go to my job. God is not getting me up. But little do they know and understand that God actually did wake you up. Because if God wanted to stop your heart right now, he would. If God wanted to set something up to where you get removed from your job, he can. And sometimes God will do that. When you start thinking you're all that, when you start turning your back on God and you feel like I don't need God, there are going to be things that happen in your life. And you are going to have to come right back to God humbly. But the beautiful thing that I love about God and his character is that God will welcome you with open arms. God is waiting on so many of you who have never called on his name to come to him humbly and simply ask for his help. Ask for his assistance. Ask for his support. See, you don't have to ask for God's love because God gives us his love for free. Salvation is free. You have to make the decision through the gift of free will if you want to acquiesce to it. But God loves you. But on today, and I don't know exactly how many of you I am talking to, but I was really, really um, pushed to make this video to tell you all. A lot of you all will get an answer to why. You are sick in your body. A lot of you all will get an answer to why you have drama going on in your marriage. A lot of you all will get an answer to what the next move is that you should make as far as your career goes. A lot of you all will get an answer as to that person that you are dating and dealing with, but you're on the fence about them. A lot of you all, you will get a turnaround through your doctor. Your doctor told you you may have had a particular disease. Your doctor may have told you you had a certain amount of time. But I'm telling you all now, this is the time. This is the time for you to go to God and call on the name of the Lord. One thing you don't want to do, you don't want to be so full of pride and so lofty and so full of yourself operating in your own intellect and strength to where God has to allow the enemy to tear you down to nothing to where you are forced to call on his name it's easy the yoke of Jesus Christ is easy his burden is light you don't have to wait until all hell breaks through in your life you can Submit yourself to God now. 
And I'm not saying that this walk with Christ is easy. I'm not saying that every single thing that happens and every single thing that goes on, that you're always going to get an answer from God. Because there are some things you will go to God about and you will ask God and God is not going to release any type of revelation or an answer to you. God is going to be silent. God is going to be quiet. But in a lot of situations, you still have no rest you have no peace you have not gotten any resolution you have not gotten healing simply because you don't want to call on the name of the lord why would you want to keep living your life going through circle going through circles and going around the same hill going around the same mountain you still crying about the same thing from 10 and 15, 20 years ago, when all you had to simply do was call on the Lord and ask God to give you the help or the support or the peace or even the answer. It's a case by case basis, guys. But you need to try God for yourself. We are coming up on the time where you cannot be dependent upon the prayers of other people. You know why? Not because other people don't care about you, not because other people don't love you, but because we are human. And sometimes so many people will come and ask for prayer and being a human and having human error, that person may forget to pray for you tonight. That person may be distracted because they're so busy praying for themselves and their families and their health and their career or their finances or they got 10 other people on the prayer list. So it's never personal. But what I'm saying is that the times that we are progressively moving in and, and, and you got to even thank God for that because all at one time things can crash down on us and we really, really wouldn't know what to do but now when you know God when you know okay God I know your character God I've experienced enough in my life where I know when I started coming to you and I cried out to you and I prayed to you father and I asked you to help me with this situation some way somehow you turned it around you fixed it you may not have showed up immediately but eventually everything worked itself out yes father i know i've had a couple of full circle moments in my life where i thought i was cheated i thought i was slighted i thought that i was done wrong and undermined but you brought that situation right back to me full circle and then on top of you doing that you gave me the revelation on today guys Especially, I'm talking to those of you, you've never in your life tried God. You've never in your life called on God. You've never in your life took the time out of your day to really pray. Because you've been living life on your own terms, listening to other people. Because let me tell you something, people out here in the world, they'll really try to convince you that you don't need God. They'll do it. People do it all the time. People want you to be like them. They'll feel like, well, I made this decision to do this particular thing and God didn't help me. They don't realize, though, the grace and mercy of God is why we all make it through from point A to point B. It's nothing more or nothing less. There are a lot of people that felt like, yeah, I got the answers. I could do this. I could do that. I got the money. Baby, listen, when the hand of God comes down on your life and this judgment season, because you've been out here doing your dirt, your money will not be able to help you. Open up your eyes. Look at what's happening to a lot of people in Hollywood. It does not matter how much money they have. They are in a serious situation or serious dilemmas. And the judgment season has not lifted, but their money cannot buy them out of the situation that they are in. Could it simply be that a long time ago, if they had just simply called on God and asked for God's assistance in the midst of their lust demons, 
and their adultery demons and their drug demons and their alcohol demons and their murderous spirit demons could it have just simply been easier for them and deliverance would have fell upon them by calling on the name of the Lord this video may be corny to some of you some of you you may not even care about it but I am releasing this video message with all the power and the passion that God has placed in me I don't I didn't even expect to make this video message but I am telling you so many miracles and different things will happen to a lot of you simply by calling on Jesus Christ by going to God and giving that thing or those things that you know you don't have the answers to. You know you don't have the resources for. You know that you cannot fix. You've gone to your mother. You've gone to all of your friends. You've gone to your father. You've gone to the man of God in church. You cannot keep relying on these prophetess and prophets and pastors and people in the church. They are real people just like you and me. They have just as much going on in their lives that we do or probably more. All of us have problems and, and issues. Some just may be at deeper levels than others. But any time in my life, I'm telling you this again as a living witness, any time in my life I was faced with certain things, oh baby, and I've seen some things. I tell you all all the time, I have been through some things in my life. I have seen some things. I have been through some things that I should not have even gone through. I have seen some things with my own eyes that I should not have seen. But by the irresponsibility and the uh, hands of other people who were selfish and self-centered and filled with demonic uh, entities operating in them. I was in the midst of it. So I got hit to a certain extent too. But when I went to God, let me tell y'all something. God is not going to hold you accountable for the stupidity and the mistakes of other people. In certain cases, God will hold you accountable if God have told you to leave a certain person. Let me let me let me make that clear and clean that up real quick for y'all. If God have told you to cut a certain person off or he told you to move from one location to the next, don't disobey God when it comes to that. If God told you to stop hanging with certain people and you want to continue to be around them, because when God tells you these things, it's for a reason. But sometimes when you stick around, and that hammer comes down, you will be held accountable. Now, through his grace and mercy, when you get touched or when you get hit, it may not be as bad as it can be because God is merciful. He is full of abundant grace and mercy. However, when you pray your way out of a situation that you know you don't want to be in, when you pray your way out of a situation that you know you don't have the strength to come out of, even in an addiction, if you're addicted to something, in your mind and in your heart, you saying, God, I don't even want to do this anymore. I know this is offensive to you. I know that I should not be doing this, but God, I just can't come out of it. Some of you all, you in relationships right now, you like, I can, I don't have the strength to leave him. I don't have the strength to leave her. I don't have the strength to break this addiction. Whatever your addiction is, food, porn, sex, gambling, alcohol, drugs, smoking, cigarettes, vape, whatever your thing is, because all of us got a thing. Some of you, you are riddled down with a lot of things. But if you want to continue to go on in your life in misery, in misery and you're confused, I'm here to tell you today, it changes when you call on the name of the Lord. When you go to Jesus Christ wholeheartedly and humbly and ask God, to assist you and you tell God I need your help I need your help Lord 
Watch how things begin to turn around in your life. Read Philippians chapter 2. Read that. We all have to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. These human beings, they cannot help you. Yes, God will bless us with good people in our corner. God will send destiny helpers to us. We will have our time, but there are still going to be certain things that kick off in our lives, and we need divine assistance. Only divine assistance and the divine hand of the Lord will be the only healing answer, solution, that will be the only thing that can turn your situation around. That's the video message. Well, guys, it's time for me to go because I have some other things to do. The Lord will and I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have taken offense to anything I spoke about in this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.